We can use previews to experiment with our images. Some processes take a long time to execute. TGV denoise is one example. If we apply this process to the image, we can see that it's going to take a long time, especially given that it has to process three color channels. This makes it very time-consuming to find the correct parameters. If we need to do a lot of tests, it's going to take us a long time to get each result. To get results quickly and easily, we can create previews. To do this, we need to turn on New Preview Mode. A preview is an area of interest within an image. We define a preview by clicking on the image and dragging the cursor to draw a rectangle. When we release the mouse button, the Preview's selector appears in the View Selector tray. Now we can apply TGV Denoise to this area of the image only. We've selected the area that contains some of the bright details of the nebula, as well as some very dark areas. This means that we can assess how the noise reduction affects all parts of the dynamic range of the image. Let's test these parameters first. The process executed in just three seconds. To compare the result with the original image, we can click on the Undo Redo Preview button. We can also do this using the keyboard, pressing Ctrl, Shift, and Z. If we don't like the result, we can change the parameters and execute the process on the preview again. The main difference between the main view and the preview is that the preview has a volatile state. This means that when we applied this second set of parameters, the first process was automatically undone. The new parameters are always applied to the preview in its original state. This makes it much easier to experiment as we don't need to undo the previous process manually each time. We can also create as many previews as we like in other areas of interest and apply the same process to all of them. Once we're happy with the result, we can apply the process to the main view. When we modify the main view, in this case using a noise reduction process, the previews update to match the current state of the main view. In other words, the noise reduction has been applied to all the previews too. We can now apply another process, like a histogram transformation. We test it in each of the previews, And if we're happy with the results, then we apply it to the main view. And again, the previews update with the results of this histogram transformation. We can edit each preview using the Edit Preview Mode button. The preview selected is the one with the green rectangle, and this is the one we can modify. To modify another one, we simply click on it and modify it. Previews can overlap, but they can't be rotated because they are specific areas of the unrotated image. 
we can delete the selected preview using the Delete Preview button or by right-clicking on the selector and selecting Delete from the drop-down menu. We can also delete all the previews at once by going to the Preview menu and selecting Delete All.